everybody. Welcome to Video Marketing Success Stories. I'm Andy Glickman, your host, alongside Mari Rogo, CEO and founder of RIP Media Group. How are you doing, Mari? I'm great. Thank you, Andy. Uh, we like to have Mari on the show to talk about some projects of the past uh, from RIP Media Group uh, that have spurred some interest, either of mine or uh, from some of our audience. People come in with questions. And we love to put Mari on the spot, make him answer right away with facts and truth <laughs> of the video marketing industry. So, and see if we can sweat <laughs> verbally. Ask verbally away, away. Ask away. Audio sweat. I only tell the truth, so maybe that'll make it less fun. But <laughs> maybe that it. adds to the sweating, actually. I doubt it. It does it's pretty good. Your truisms. What um, do you today? today? <laughs> I wanted to talk today about uh, some videos. One thing we've noticed kind of in the video marketing landscape, or at least I've noticed, uh, just because I have a keen eye, uh, it's, it's becoming very tech heavy. Companies that are just literally reinventing the wheel uh, when it comes to the tech world. Maybe that's where the, the video marketing spend is at, or that's where the interest, you know, feel free to hypothesize yourself. But one, uh, one client, and certainly you guys have done uh, a number of videos for a wide range of high-tech companies. Uh, one that I like to talk about because it combines a couple of things that I'm interested in, uh, the tech world, and of course, you could just guess by me talking, golf. Yeah, I know I exude golfer, uh, but <laughs> I, I do actually uh, enjoy the game myself. Uh, we won't talk about my handicap. Um, but uh, the, the, the next link video that you guys did uh, a yeah. while back is really fascinating because, uh, because of what they do and who they are. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about that. And then the really cool look that you guys put together for them. Uh, but as we always love to talk about uh, right off the bat, how did you even know about or hear about next links? Next links is such a cool story. They're in such a cool product. And honestly, now that we're whatever a year, year and a half after that was launched, they are really successful. And I don't want to be, you know, there's no, there's no back padding here, but you know, if you look on the way, LinkedIn, toot that horn, toot away, <laughs> the, this, the CEO and I are friendly now. I mean, you know, so after such a breakneck project and such success after it, you know, we're friends on LinkedIn and we keep in touch and every now and then he'll just thank us for what we did for him, you know, at their very first major presentation that they had a million dollar contract on the line. And so let me back up. So we get a phone call. Literally, I got a phone call. We've seen your work. We love what you do. We have a big challenge for you. And he leaves it there. And, you know, there's the phone, you know, dead. And I'm supposed to say, what is that challenge? <laughs> or, or you hang up one of the two. <laughs> it is like, I don't want a challenge today. <laughs> he, said, he said, we have a presentation that we're doing to a, a particular city. I guess I'll leave it out right now, but we're doing this in a city. It's a city in California. We go and present and we're going up against other bidders that have a really good shot at this. If we win and if we can show our vision visually, if we can show what this would look like, we win a million dollar contract. I am not kidding. I am not stretching the truth in any way. And I said, we are up for this challenge. I would love to help. Tell me a little bit more. So their company is basically trying to bring millennials, younger folks out to the golf course, but out to the golf course when it's not being used. Well, how do you do that? Well, at nighttime, all the putting greens and like the practice greens, they're really not touched at all. You know, they might, you know, especially it's Palm Springs, all right, it's Palm Springs, California, especially when it's, you know, 90 degrees at night and that kind of thing. So they have this laser system, lasers. So they have laser towers set up and they map games onto the golf course, or excuse me, onto the golf green. Mm -hmm. And so you have things like, you know, you know, you putt and you spell, you know, winner, loser, you, you know, whoever gets the H-O-R-S-E, horse, you know, like we did in basketball as kids. So you play horse and you can do, um, you know, checkers and, and all these different games that they put in there and darts and that kind of thing. So closest to the whole kind of a thing, contest. And then they said they bring out a bar and then they have music playing. So they make it this really fun environment. So it's now a destination not to just go and be quiet and put away. It's super fun. So they had this vision. And instead of putting in, you know, the, the other bidders were bidding whatever they would do for a traditional golf course. These guys were coming in with something completely new, completely new audience to the golf course, uh, for the golf courses. And they said, okay, that's what we got. And, and I said, when is this due again? 
And they said, well, it's due in one month, but we need it to look exactly like this golf course. So I thought for about 10 seconds and I said, here's the way that we could do it. And let me know if this works for you. I can get a photographer and videographer out to that golf course in about three days. We'll take a map, we'll take pictures, we'll take a video of the course, of the putting green, of the clubhouse, everything, you know, on one day. We'll come back, we'll upload all that information into our 3D programs. We're gonna map that area into, into 3D and then we're gonna get all the specs from you in the same amount of time. You gotta start delivering. What do your towers look like? What color are the laser grids? What's this look like? And then we're gonna come up with a story at the same time. I mean, move fast, right? I think we were actually down to about 27 days for this. And I said, well, we gotta come up with a story. So let's, let's what if the, you know, and we, we pitched them three or four ideas, but the idea was, this idea was a gift from outer space. It was so good that it had to come from an alien life form kind of thing. So we come in, uh, you'll, you'll see the video hopefully, and we zoom in from outer space past the planets, we land on Earth, come straight down to Palm Springs. We see the actual 3D grid of the Palm Springs course, and then we see the transformation. It transforms into this really cool, you know, kind of young, hip environment with bar, with people, with, you know, the laser grid of, you know, the games on the, on the putting green and that kind of thing, music playing and all this happening and people having a great time. And, you know, so, so we did this and that was, let's see, let's see, we got the photographs. The next week was mapping it. The next week was, you know, animation. Then we did some animation sweetening. I think of the day before, 24 hours before we gave them the final file to make sure they could test it out, work well. They went and they presented and they won the contract. Nice. They won the contract. They got, I believe it was a million dollars or right around a million dollars to do this. And now it's live. Now, you know, we were invited to the, the big launch of it and all that kind of thing. It's just super cool. Nice. And so they're going around the nation now, you know, mapping and doing these 3D laser grids in, uh, in different golf courses. Right. So it's really amazing. It's great tech. And we showed how it is done the very first time and, and truly were credited for helping them get a million dollar deal. Now, did you get to play <laughs> using the, uh, using next link? Did you actually play some, so some I, so golf the, darts? Right. At, at the time that they were doing, you know, both, both, both things that happened when they had their big launch and when we were doing the filming, I strategically had to not be there. And that was just because I was on the other side of the nation, unfortunately, both times. I was in, I think, Washington, D.C., and then in Boston or whatever. I really wanted to get there. But a couple of members of my team did go out, and they had a blast. Cool. They went out, they played, they saw it, they, you know, that kind of thing. They had a great time. But so did we, my company, yes. Did I? No, uh, I did. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> so so here, uh, here's something that also interests me about, so we talked a little bit about the high tech nature of industry and business, but then there's also the high tech nature of video making or, or, or the video itself. Do you feel obligated when you have a, when you have a client that represents the, the tech industry or these, this newfangled high tech, do you feel obligated to make the video itself look and reflect that high tech nature? I love that question. That's a great question. It, it, the answer is 100% absolutely yes, because you need to look as good as your product and you need to look as good as your customers, right? And I'm not even saying like, look good to your customers. You need to look as good as them and you need to make what you do really, you know, really sizzle or, you know, touch an emotion. You've got to get people to, to be excited. So if you have something that's really high tech and really conceptual, you've got to make it really exciting. And you've got to make it visually beautiful because people have to be able to picture themselves there. And if you kind of, in this kind of environment, that's, you know, very expensive purchase that takes a lot of integration, that takes a lot of coordination, right? Um, you've got to make it look beautiful. So 3D was the best way to go for this. You know, just doing some flat, you know, 2D or whiteboard animation, that wasn't going to fly. That's not going to sell a million dollar product. You've, they've really got to step up. You know, you've really got to say, not only are you hiring us because of our, our vision, look at how we can execute. This is just what we did in one month. We created this video, basically. They take credit as they should. They created this video, this vision in one month and showed it. 
So the, uh, the board was convinced they could actually deliver on the whole product because the video looked so good and they could understand what it was all about. Well, well it's an awesome success story to be able to turn around the project, uh, to be able to allow the company to win the, the, the bid and the contract. That's really, truly the best of those both worlds. And also to have just a really cool looking video, just uh, uh, our, our, our viewers can, can take a look um, here throughout this and, and also we'll include the link just to uh, see all the really cool colors and the great 3D effects. And yeah. can, uh, well, can I jump in on that? There's, there's sure. one thing that, believe it or not, out of that whole thing, there's, there's two, two favorite spots, there always are. Like there's, you go see a movie, there's probably one or two favorite scenes or funny lines. In this video, there's two things that I, I absolutely love. One is we, the entire thing was done in a 3D program. But when we zoom in and we see the putter, the putter on the putting green with the ball, with the Indian Wells logo on the ball, I really challenge people to take a look at that and say, is that real or is that animation? Because I think we did such an amazing job in such a short period of time to make that putter look so photorealistic with that mirrored image so clean uh, in the shadows. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful shot. So I really love that particular scene and that particular shot. And then at the end, just for fun, I threw a little alien ship in <laughs> at the very end. <laughs> threw a little alien ship flying away just because, you know what, this thing's all about having fun and we don't take anything too seriously. So those two spots are of my favorites there, as well as all the other 3D camera movements and all that sort of thing, just building that world. In such and, a I, short and I'm willing to bet that aliens like to play golf dart. <laughs> That's just, I'm going with that. I'm sticking with that uh, assumption until I'm proven wrong. Until we, until we get a chance to ask them. So Mari, do you have any uh, resources you could recommend to our listeners that they can uh, check out either through your website or some other way? Sure, absolutely. There's, there's some great resources that we put together out there. So three that come to mind really quick. One is uh, the video bot, T-H-E, video bot, like robot. The video bot helps people make their own videos in seconds. And it's a resource that we've been using really successfully and our customers have been using. So, you know, you want to get back in touch with that cold lead or, you know, the person that hasn't gotten back in touch with you, or you just want to do some outreach um, or even wish somebody, you know, happy birthday, happy holidays. There are videos sitting in there waiting for you to personalize and you can literally do it in seconds and send it out. And there is a free, it's free for the first period of time. So that's a great resource. Second, um, if I'll give you a link to this, but this is basically a, um, uh, basically, it's called the uh, Create the Salesperson That Never Sleeps. And this was actually compiled from all the frequently asked questions that we've had over the years from different customers of ours. So we put all those FAQs together and then turned it into a scorecard and a way to create your own best video marketing message and just marketing messages. So if you go there, you click on it, it's a free download, you know, kind of download this workbook. You know, it's, I think it's six pages, you know, nothing too laborious. You know, it's not going to take you a year to go through, you know, maybe a few minutes or half an hour and you will have a great roadmap for what you should be setting up as far as your company's best story. So that is uh, creating the salesperson that never sleeps. And then the last thing is, uh, you know, ways to promote your video or your story. There's another link that I can get you. And I believe that infographic is the, the 10 best ways to uh, promote your video and your story. And I'll give you a link there. So those are the three things I can think of quickly. And um, happy to you know, share more if you hit us up on our website at ripmediagroup.com. Well, once again, and as usual, thank you, Mari Rogo, for uh, the time. Uh, thank you all for joining us on another episode of Video Marketing Success Stories. And as always, thank you, Mari. Thank you. Appreciate being here. Uh, take care, everybody. We will talk to you next time.